Hello my dear students, welcome back. This is me your Shravani Miss and I am back to you with another new topic that is unseen passage. Boys, we have done lots of unseen passage before and I hope you are going to do well in this topic. And boys, today I am not going to give you any answers because I think you should try first and then I am going to help you. Okay, so tomorrow I will upload the answers and before that I would like to request all of you please try to write all of the answers by your yourself okay and if i just give you the answers i hope this is not going to be very fruitful for you because you will just simply copy my answers okay so you have to try it by yourself first then i will give you the answer so boys take out your necessary accessories and get ready for the class today we are going to discuss on a uh, passage that passage is based on a girl that whose name is Kushi. So boys, let's go for the passage. Okay. So in the first line, it's written, "It's a lovely morning." Kushi wakes up hearing birds chirping. Today she is very happy. She will go to Kushumpur with her mother. Her grandfather's home is there. She brushes her teeth twice and takes her bath every day. Her mother says that she should take her bath every day to keep healthy. She wears a red dress and braids her hair with yellow ribbons. She looks so nice. On the way to Kushumpur, she says, uh, sorry, she sees many trees, golden peri fields, blue sky, butterflies and grasshopper. Kushi says to her mother, our country is very beautiful, isn't it mom? Reaching Kushumpur, she plays with her old friends. Suddenly, she notices that one of her friends, Rupa, is not there. Other friends say that Rupa has a stomach pain. Kushi feels upset. She tells Rupa that she must drink plenty of pure water in future. So boys, you can see this passage is about Kushi and her friend Rupa who is suffering from stomach pain. Okay, so uh, the message of this passage is that you should drink plenty of pure water because if you don't drink pure water, you may fall in illness and also you may face some stomach pain or abdomen pain. Okay, so boys. I am suggesting you that please drink pure water, try to eat healthy fruits and also healthy foods because this is going to be, this is going to help your body and you are going to be fit by eating and by drinking pure water, okay? By eating fruits and also by drinking pure water. So boys, no more talk about the passes. I hope you were, you have understood the passes. So let's go for the topics. So in question number five, you will have fill in the blanks. Okay, so in the fill in the blanks, you know, there will be some options. And from these options, you have to choose the correct one. Okay, so here I have given some options like attentive, help, worried, in front, beautiful, on the way, health, careful. Okay, so first one is Kushi is very dash about her friend's illness. Number B. Many things are seen dash to Kushumpur. Number C, we should dash our friends in time of danger. Number D, our country is very dash. Number E, we should be dash of our health. So boys, this is the fill in the blanks. I am not going to give you the answers because you know if I just give you the answer, you will just simply copy the answers and I think that is not going to be better for you. So first of all, please try by yourself. Tomorrow you will get the answers. Okay. Now true false. You know in true false you will have six true false and in each true false you will have one mark okay so boys yeah, and another thing you know already but i am telling you again that is in true false you need not write any correct answers you just need to write true and false okay in number a i have written kushi has used blue ribbons to braid her hair number b rupa hasn't come to play with her friends number c rupa is suffering from abdomen pain number D. Some of Kushi's old friends live in Kushumpur. Number E. Rupa always drinks pure water. Number F. Our country is so beautiful. So these are the true false. Boys, you have to write the answers, okay, by yourself. 
and boys one more thing you have to follow the answers that i will give you tomorrow because you have to match the answers you know it, it is difficult to uh, check all of the copies in the screen mobile screen okay so you have to be very careful about the checking uh, checking of your answers okay so boys i hope you are going to help me in this matter and you are going to correct your answers okay now answer the following questions boys you know in uh, answering the questions you will have different marking that is in number a there can be two marks in number b there can be one marks or in number a there can be one marks and number b there can be two marks it depends on the teachers okay so in number a i have written why is khushi happy explain in two sentences in this question you will have two marks that's why you have to write an elaborate answer okay and boys write only the things that is actually related to the question okay so you have to be very careful about the tense if the question is in the present tense you have to write the answer in the present tense okay then number b how does khushi wake up this is very easy in this question you will have one mark so you will have to write it in one sentence okay number c who hasn't come to play with them what is the reason in this question this there is two marks that means you will have to write an elaborate answer so who hasn't come to play it indicates present tense you will write the answer in present tense okay number d why should you drink pure water write two reasons so this is based on your understanding okay there can be some questions that is based on that will be based on your understanding that's why you have to be very informative okay this is very easy you i think all of you know why should you drink pure water okay so actually write what you know actually okay so be careful about the use of tense why should you drink pure water this question is in present tense so you have to write also in the present tense okay then number e write three things that khushi saw on her way to kushumpur so you have to write three things that khushi saw on her way to kushumpur in this case you have to be very careful about the passage you have to go through the passage and then collect the information okay in this question you have three marks so you have to write this question more elaborately okay so boys be careful about the marking of the questions okay so boys i'm not going to i told you that i'm not going to give you any answers today you have to write the question answer by yourself okay when i will give you the answers you uh, your answers may be different from my answers but uh, i think it will not hold um, absolutely di different okay there can be some similarities and there can be some uh, dissimilar words or sentences that's not a big deal but the main theme of the answer will be the same okay i think i'm clear that means the answer of mine and also the answer of yours will be the same the theme will be the same the sentences can be different but your theme and my theme will be same so be careful about the tense and about the answer of the questions okay so boys take out your necessary accessories and start writing the fill in the blanks true false and question answers because you don't have much time tomorrow you will have new one more class so you have to be very attentive in the class and try to collect my answers because as i am not giving you answers today you have to collect it okay so boys hope for the best do it by yourself and stay safe and healthy thank you very much okay and thank you for watching my video and those who have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel okay thank you boys